Questions uh, joining us with the answers is News Channel 5's medical specialist, Dr. David Saria. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you. Always good to see you as well. Of course, he's the chief of emergency medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. Thank you so much for coming in today. We'll, we'll just jump right into it. We've got lots of questions, and we know you have the answers. What cause, causes tingling or numbness in your fingers? Yeah, it's a very, very common problem, and there's a lot of causes of it. So what I try to do is I try to categorize the causes and so first of all nerve nerves can do it anything from the nerves in your hand all the way up into your brain something like carpal tunnel trauma to the hand can do it and you can also have a pinched nerve in your neck that can cause numbness or tingling in the hand or anywhere along the arm and then also you got to think about stroke a lesion in the brain can do it or even multiple sclerosis so very very common now there are other things that can do it systemically so, for example, if you have a problem with your heart or lungs, you can have radiated pain so, or numbness or tingling. So I know you hear a lot about angina or heart problems that can cause numbness in the hand. Something to be concerned about if that occurs in conjunction with chest pain. And then also something more systemic like diabetes, vitamin 12 deficiency, or even Raynaud's syndrome, and several others that, that end up lower on the list. But so. What is it or when do you actually see a doctor? Well, I want you to see a doctor if it's associated with chest pain, come see us right away. Certainly if it's chest pain, in the ER. And then of course if it lasts longer than a week and is progressively getting worse, okay, or if it's associated with fever, things like that, I want you to come see us right away. Okay, definitely good to know because it sounds like it yeah. can either be a little thing or a big thing. Really quickly, just to touch on this point, when people have medical conditions and you feel like it's something lingering, do you suggest people keeping a diary so they, when they go to their doctor and say, hey, I've been having this for two weeks or three weeks and this is how it's changed or progressed? Always, it's very, very helpful to do that because remember, you're talking to another person, you're talking to a physician. We get our information from you. So a good history is what it's called, basically a description of what your problem is like, meaning how long, what is it, what's it feel like, what's it associated with, the timing, all those things are very important for us to be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together and figure out what's going on with you. So yes, always important because you know what, you don't typically remember everything that's going on right. if you try to think about it the time you're in with your doctor. Exactly, yeah. and of course, that's when the pain goes away. Yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> moving on. What is metabolic syndrome? You know, it's a, it's a new name for an old uh, syndrome called Syndrome X. I don't know, most, may, many people may remember that name, but something called Syndrome X can't be a good thing, and it's not. Basically, what metabolic syndrome is, is not a disease, but it's a clustering of risk factors that can contribute to significant disease, like coronary disease, stroke, and diabetes and the cluster is four things increased blood pressure increased cholesterol increased insulin resistance and then the number one problem is increased obesity central obesity in other words people that are shaped like an apple or a mm -hmm. pear central obesity around the waist is a big contributor just to kind of give you a, it's, it's sort of a sad reflection of what's going on with our country mm -hmm. because 50 to 75 million people have metabolic syndrome and that's one out of every five so it's kind of a reflection as to our lifestyles and the biggest contributor is obesity as well as inactivity and smoking and high carb diets but the good news is is that we did it to ourselves we can take it away through good diet through exercise through better lifestyle you can lose the weight and decrease the risk that metabolic syndrome brings into your life Okay, and speaking of good exercise, we know a lot of folks here in, in South Florida are runners. I pretend to be one myself. Right. Um, so let's talk about shin splints. What's the best way to deal with those, with ice or with heat? Yeah, well, believe it or not, both are good. But just to kind of give you a description as to what it is, it's a pain in the anterior aspect of your leg. What, what is it from? Typically from either overuse, like running, typically running on a hard surface, or it could be from... Uh, uh, abnormal weight bearing, in other words, flat feet, or from a stress fracture. Any of those things can actually cause shin splints. And it's just pain or inflammation in the anterior aspect of the leg. How do you treat it? Well, regardless of what the cause is, the treatment is relatively similar. You do ice, but you only do ice for the first couple of days, 20 minutes, and then you repeat it every couple hours. That decreases some of the inflammation and the swelling. Mm -hmm. Then you could do heat after that. That brings blood flow and removes some of the inflammatory mediators. But the most important thing is rest. And then you can use some medications like anti-inflammatories or pain medications just to get over the symptoms. And then arch supports are very important so that you can realign the weight. Don't get it off of the, uh, off of the front of the 
leg and redistribute it back to the calf and that relieves some of the inflammation. Now when we ice it, can we use the rice method for this rest you know ice, the rice, that's rest right. ice compression and elevation? Exactly. Very good. I've had my share of injuries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dr. Surya. And if yeah. you have a question for Dr. Surya, you can send it by going to our website, WPTV.com and clicking on the health link. Scroll down on the right hand side and you'll see a form to write your question. Thank you again so much for coming You're in, welcome. Dr. Surya. We appreciate it as always and we'll see you next week. You bet. And we'll see you after this break.